Book Three, Three, I Seem to Recline in Helcyon's Gentle Shade by Propertius. I seem to recline in Helcyon's gentle shade, where flows the brook of Bellerophon's horse, to have the powers in my sinews so great a task, to declaim of Alba's kings and deeds of kings. I had put my lip, my little lips to the mighty well, whence Father Enos, thirsting once drank and sank of the Curian brothers, Horatian javelins, the regal trophies conveyed in Amelius's craft, Fab Fabius's victorious delays, the luckless battle of Cannae, gods turning to dutiful prayer, our Lares driving Hannibal back from Rome, how Jove was kept secure by the voices of geese, when Phoebus spying me from Castilia's trees, where he leant on a golden lyre by his cave, spoke thus, Fool, what have you to do with such a stream? Who bade you touch the, the task of epic verse? You may not this way hope for fame, Propertius. Soft the meadow your shout, your soft the meadows your small wheels must wear, that your little book be often thrown on the bench by a lonely girl who reads as she waits for her man. Why has your page rushed out of the course prescribed? Your talent's skift is not to be overladen. Let one or scour the water, the other sand, you'll be safe at sea, the tumults vast. He spoke, and with his plectrum showed me my place, where a path was newly made on the mossy ground. Here was a verdant cave studded with gems, and tambours hung from the rocky vault. The muses' emblems, Father Salinas's likeness, in clay, your reed pipes, Tegan Pan and Our Lady Venus's swift doves, my friends, dipped their rosy bills in the Gorgon's basin. Nine diverse girls, each allotted her rule, busied soft hands about their proper, proper gifts. One picked ivy for the wand, one tuned gut for song, a third both her hands twined roses. One of this troop of goddesses touched me firmly, by her face, I assumed she was Calliope. You'll be content to always, you'll be content to be always drawn by snowy swans. No brave horse's neigh shall lead you to battle, not for you to blow with raucous horn marital proclamations, dying our grove with Mars, nor to recount on what field with Marius standard the army stood and Rome flung back Teutonic might nor how died in Swabian blood the savage Rhine bears mangled corpses upon his mourning water. For you shall sing of garland lovers at someone's threshold, and drunken calls for retreat by night, that he who wishes by skill to gull harsh men may learn by you to charm out locked-up girls. Thus Calliope, and drawing limp, limp, from the spring, she moistened my lips with Philetan waters. That is book three, three. I, seem, I seemed to recline in Helcyon's gentle shade by Propertius.